Alright guys, welcome back to another killer video for today. Today we have some play gameplay. Uh, as most of you know, I don't really play Plague too much, but every once in a while I get a, just a hankering to play her, because she is a fun killer, in my opinion. I just, I don't know, I don't really play her that often. So let's get straight into our build. We're running the same build we always do on Plague. First up, we have Infectious Fright, because it's really fucking great with your Corrupt Intervention. Or sorry, with your Corrupt uh, Purge. We have Corrupt Intervention, which will help me not lose generators and find people early on. Pop goes a weasel, which will help me with generators, and barbecue and chili for the information, and of course the blood points. Now for add-ons, we'll be running yellow add-ons instead of brown add-ons like we usually do on Plague. First up, we have the potent tincture, I think is how you pronounce that, and the medic potion for the better vile purge effectiveness and the better cooldown on my vile purge. So, anyways, guys, let's get straight into the games. Hog. Should probably vomit on the generator now that I think about it. Well, I saw someone right away, so I'm just gonna go ahead and head over here. I was gonna throw up on the generator, but I just saw somebody going to the killer shack. I see two people here, three people. I'm gonna make sure I vomit on the that thing. I'm gonna get as much vomit as I can on this girl while she's dropping the pallet. All right, she's not gonna drop it. Smart. Can I get more on her, actually? I have yellow add-on for this, so... I'm actually gonna try to throw up her as much as possible. She's about to go- she's about to get infected. In three, two, one, now? Maybe not. I don't know if I should be committing for this, honestly. I'm gonna go for hit on her as she goes to be the whisper window. There we go. That's why I waited until the last possible second to hit her. Alright, I can go back to that generator they were on with Pop Goes a Weasel now, and they... They shouldn't... They shouldn't have it done by now. There's only been... Two people on it for, like, 20 seconds. Damn, really? Are all three of them here? Yeah, they are. I should have vomited on him. I could have body blocked him into that corner and vomited on him for free. moment on that. I kind of want to get everyone sick if I can. Honestly, I, it's more important to me right now than, uh, than securing it down, I think. She's still back here. I had a feeling she would be. This this Meg looks really uh, confident. Not necessarily cocky, just confident in what she's doing. Wow, they insta cleanse. Holy shit. I don't, I'm not really in a position to take any, um, any pools right now, unfortunately. There we go. Good mind game on my part. By the time she, by the time they come pick her up, she'll be fully infected. Okay, these guys are just going to spam cleanse, it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and try and take a pool right now, if I can, I think. I'll look for uh, someone near a generator. And someone back there. That's who I'm going to be going for. I'm going to try and get some long-range peek on her. Actually, I'll just get her on the generator instead. Can I get some on her before she crosses past here? Nice. And I'll go for this. Wait, is she in the locker? Nope. There we go, free hit on her. Wait, did she not get sick earlier? I could have sworn I heard her uh, crying like she got sick. There we go, I get the hit on her. Infectious Fright didn't trigger, so I know that nobody's nearby. They're, these two guys are literally just rushing generators together. You know, I just want to say spot rape. Okay, I'm going to veer off this onto this guy over here. He should be coming for the unhook right now. Did I just see him? So, so if someone's point blank with you, you really want to try and get them... You really want to try and uh, vomit on them as quickly as possible. Or, sorry, with as short of the stream as possible, yeah. because that'll give you the best results when you're trying to when you're trying to down somebody. <coughs> For those who don't know, you can only vomit on one person, or uh, you can only hit one person at a time with a stream of vomit with your corrupt. I'm not going to be able to get the hit, so I'm just going to go ahead and get him sick. And this guy is not really paying attention where he's running. He's going to run straight into me. 
no effects is right means that Jane's not ready to be seen, and I've been defending this hook really fucking well. She just went off into the corner to self care. I think she's to my right. If I had to guess. Nope, that's where she is. If she goes for this unhook, I should be able to get her uh, at least a little bit sick. Maybe, or not at all. Hmm. They're gonna go straight for the sun hunk. I'm actually just gonna come over here and pressure it as hard as I can, basically. That's awesome. Oh, I thought she would go for the uh, for the pallet. Well done on her part. If she's not careful, she'll go down right here. Yep. You have to be really careful on hooking in front of a plague since she has a. Okay. I'm just gonna chase you down now, then. Force the pallet out of the way, if nothing else, and if not, here, I'll just grab this corruption and I can chase him down and down him again. He's gonna camp his pallet, right? Nope. Aw, oh, that would've been cool, right? <laughs> oh, I fucking aimed it uh, poorly right there. Can I get that? I need to aim a little bit higher. They just recently changed how Plague's vomiting works. Right, this guy's live, I forgot about that. They recently changed how her vomiting works, so she actually ends up with her stream comes from a little bit lower down on her model, so you kind of got to aim a little bit higher than you used to with her. These guys are about to cleanse, both of them are her. That man got one hooked, which is awesome for me. I know you guys hear me say it all the time, but try, like, you don't really want to get everyone on three separate hooks because that's just going to put you in a bad spot. This guy's self-carrying while he's infected, he's slowly getting more and more infected. I'm going to push this girl over here because she's trying to cleanse. Damn, nice. I'm gonna go ahead and try and get some vomit on her here. There we go, I got vomit on her, which means I'm gonna go straight for this. That guy just was really self-caring while he was getting infected, so now that entire time he spent healing himself is completely negated. Yeah, so he just spent all that time healing himself when he could've just waited to get fully infected and then cleanse up this pool like he did anyway. She got to unhook the unhook behind me, the, the Jane. Oh, I didn't think he would still fucking be there, I'll be honest. Get the hit on him with his short little burst. That means I get in here way quicker. There we go. Infectious Fright's first proc this entire game, actually. And I love how much Corrupt Purge you're giving me. Plague really is extremely powerful when, uh, when you give her all this Corrupt. <laughs> she becomes an extremely lethal long-range killer that's very hard to avoid. Unless, you know, you're bad like I am. <laughs> live users always use their live just to use it. I say this shit all the time, but if somebody has live, just keep an eye out for windows because they're gonna just they're gonna just try and use their perk even if it's in a bad spot for them. This Jane's about to cleanse somewhere else. Yep. She's been doing it all game. I'll just go ahead and take this right now and I'll go straight for her. Damn, she's really just making distance. <laughs> this is why you need to be careful with how you cleanse against Plague. Ah, that's my mistake. You're just gonna keep going, aren't you? Yeah, she's literally not even looking behind her. I'm just missing because she has a fucking shitload of trees out here that are really annoying in, in the way. I'm gonna loop around to this pallet? No, of course not. There we go. And that's game over. Plague is a really slug heavy killer, at least the way I play her. So you're gonna end up you're gonna end up slugging people really fucking hard. But like I was saying, this is this is why you don't spam cleanse against plague. You gotta be really smart about it. If you're gonna be cleansing against her, you need to you need to coordinate so all four survivors end up cleansing at once. Or you need to try and cleanse far away from where the plague is. These guys would just would just um they would get puked on and they'd immediately run to the nearest place where they could cleanse just so they weren't injured anymore, which is, it's just not the right play against the plague in my opinion. I'll vomit on him, on him here. If you're gonna vomit, you can vomit at people on the hook when, uh, if they aren't infected yet, and it will give you, uh, it'll, they'll over time become more and more infected. 
And if once they get into the red stage, so if they're a little uh, in the bottom left, you see that green circle. If that turns red, that means that they're fully infected, meaning that they're going to be one injured permanently until they cleanse, and two, if anyone unhooks them or interacts with anything at all with them, then they'll become infected as well. So if they're repairing a generator with someone else, if they're getting healed by somebody else, it doesn't matter what it is, they're going to end up getting infected from it. This is why I lost that generator so quickly. I didn't kick a single pallet or fucking generator this map. God damn it, I fucking forgot about my challenge. <laughs> Anyways, let's get right into the next one, guys. Hey. <clears throat> you know, this map could be a lot worse. <laughs> How did that... Okay. And they have an object. Oh, fucking course they do. Well, I'll try and get the... There's two of them back here. Is there three? I just heard breathing. Did I just walk past him? Yep. What the fuck is on my screen? You need to be really careful, by the way, playing stealthy against, uh, I guess, a plague, because she can. If she manages to body block you, you are 100% going down. There's literally nothing you'd be able to do against a plague if you're uh, body blocked in. She slow vaulted to the window, or is she just quick and quiet? I'm gonna chase her down just for her down. I know they're back there on the generator. Usually, if you see object, expect to throw with friends. Because it very, very rarely do solo players run object. She, this Claudette literally takes the weirdest fucking pathing. This is literally the weirdest fucking player I've ever played against. What is she doing? I don't make this. Oh, I make that. I'm gonna go for a slug here. They just finished their uh, generate. I didn't mean to do that. They just finished their generator, so I don't have to worry as much about uh, having a. What's it called? Pop goes a weasel charge, go. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll take it. I'll break this pallet now and I'll go for this pallet, I think. Where'd she go? I, uh, pfft. of course she fucking crawled. I see her back here. Yeah, that guy is, uh, sick, so I don't have to worry about that. I don't know if they have a flashlight or not, so, but... So, it's literally never a bad idea to... to What's it called? To pick up facing a tree, or facing a wall, as best you can. These guys are be gonna be on generators now. Oh, I was really hoping you'd hook me to the hook around the left one. He's going to the main building generator? Maybe not. I'm gonna go ahead and kick this, though. Whoever's sick isn't nearby, I would hear them for sure. One thing's for sure, Plague is definitely one of the best killers for just uh, making sure to constantly hear survivors when they're near you. If they're sick, it's going to be very difficult for them to do anything to get away from you. I'm going to pretend I'm doubling back here, and then I'll turn around late. There we go. That's a great mind game that I learned from Unstarva. If you guys ever want to watch a fucking insanely good uh, killer player, go ahead and watch Unstarva. The dude's fucking nuts. There we go. I'll get her sick and then I'll come straight back for this pickup so I can get Paco's a weasel. Where did that, that... She just cleansed over there. Play actually has a bit of inherent tracking. Not only due to the audio, like I was saying before, it's really difficult to be uh, stealthy against a plague if you're sick. Someone just disturbed crows back there. But also, uh, whenever people cleanse, you get information about where they are on the map. If she come back and tap it, thank you. If a killer is popped with a weasel and they're hooking somebody right next to the generator that they just uh, did something at, don't bother uh, going back to tap it. They're, you're like, I just literally regressed that generator by 50% for free. Because that girl wanted to um, wanted to be an asshole and tap the generator. That was a difficult angle for me to get the vomit out. Be careful as a plague as well when, when it comes to pallets. Plague's a killer you definitely want to respect pallets with. If, at least if you're in your corrupt. I am so tall, it's so difficult to mind game this because it's such a short loop. 
because it, like it's such a short loop like when it comes to just vertical height and plague is such a tall killer but as I was saying, you really want to be careful and not get stunned if you can avoid it as a plague because she if you get stunned while you're in your corrupt, you actually end up losing it completely, so that really blows. They just cleanse right at the generator, meaning they're right back on it, so I'm gonna go straight back to it. I know they're on that generator off in a distance, but this is a generator I can actually go to right now. Oh, that would have been a great hit. I'm gonna vomit on this just so it's uh, infected and then I'm gonna go, go ahead and take a corruption immediately and go straight back to the hook. I think they're gonna be running back to the hook right now. Just a gut feeling I have. Nope. Learn to trust your gut as well as a killer. Something It won't pay off every time, but when it does, it's really nice for you. This guy just jumped on a locker. He is head on, probably. How did I get hit by that? What? I don't, I don't think he expected it to hit me. That's why he jumped back into Walker, I think. I don't know where he is. I shouldn't have been vomiting like that, honestly. Oh, cool. I love getting slowed down for no reason. I'm going to commit to chasing this guy. I'm in my corrupt, so I should be able to down him soon. He has the god window. There we go, that's really good for me, and I'll come back here. I don't even know where the fuck I was aiming with that, I'll be honest with you guys. Oh, the window's here. I tried to walk through that window like it wasn't there. That was not the correct pathing. Yeah, that was kind of an obvious uh, pallet drop. He's gonna risk. Oh wow, really? That vacuumed him in so, from so far. I'm gonna come pick this guy up right now. Yep, that's why I wanted to pick him up. I knew he'd get uh, picked up if I didn't. All right, go ahead and get that clean, clean uh, hit right there. This mag's down. Or this mag's injured is what I meant, sorry. These guys are definitely solid. Yeah, there are no slouches at all, I'm doing my best. And as uh, most of you know, I'm not really the most experienced leg player, so... I'm just kind of doing my best here. I'll hook over here. This will give me g good information when it comes to barbecue, and it'll also give me this vile per or corrupt perch to my right that I can go to if I need to. If I see anyone uh, that's within range, uh, they're on two different generators, I'm just going to lose straight up. That, it's that simple, I can't do anything. Object of Obsession is so fucking good, dude. He just gets constant information about where I am. Yep, I need this one to have way more progress than the other one. That was not the play. Corrupt Intervention, or sorry, Corrupt Purge has a very short cooldown if you use it correctly. So trying to use it like this guy did, or trying to play around it like this guy did is not very strong, or not very smart, I mean. Are you dead? Please be dead. I don't think he's dead. No one's fucking dead on Hook, are they? I see Scratch Marks back here. They're running straight back for uh, this generator. I don't know where the person's hiding, but I think Claudette's hiding around here somewhere. I'm gonna go ahead and kick with this just to make sure it's a zero and pop as a weasel. And I'm gonna come back. I wanted to go vomit on that guy, but I couldn't. I'll go ahead and take this corrupt purge though. You see how much smarter these guys are about cleansing though? They only cleanse uh, when it's in a position where I can't really capitalize on it. I saw the object running back in this direction, so I kinda wanna try and cut him off. In all honesty. Is he running back to this pallet? By the way, when you're holding your corrupt, I'm like 90% sure uh, he had his fucking sprint burst 99. Well, it doesn't matter if he avoided that because I just downed him here. I think he's on first or he's on second hook only. 
Hopefully he's on third. Where the fuck is he? Nice juke behind that tree. I'm just gonna cancel that immediately and kill and hook this guy. Uh, I was saying something and I completely forgot about it. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys. And I'm about to lose another generator too, right? Oh my fucking god. Their gens are just so spread. I can't really do much about it. These guys are so smart about when to cleanse. She's gonna run straight for the unhook and I can't do anything about it because I have to come rush this generator. They spread out their generators really effectively. He doesn't finish this in time, but it doesn't matter. He's full health. Ah, damn it. I needed to be more decisive there. I'm gonna go ahead and take this, kick the generator, and then go back to the hook. I should have probably kicked the generator before going back to the hook, but it's okay. He's about to get picked up. We're about to see the animation change. Wait, he was on... No, he's on second hook. Oh, someone's just fan picking him up so that they can get a uh, bar of time for it. Did he dead heart it? Okay, you're a fucking piece of shit. Nice fucking juke, dude. I think she had, um. Jake's back on the other generator, by the way, so if I don't press her, I'm kind of fucked. Very nice. I'm gonna hook her in sheer hopes that I can get to that Jake in time. I don't think I can though. I'm gonna hook her. I'm gonna move over towards it though. Generator's gonna pop in about five seconds here, I think. And Claudette's gonna be on the generator in the shop, right? Ooh, they weren't working on it. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and take this right now. That guy's running, he's gonna jump in the locker, right? Nope. Remember, he has head on. So just uh, keep an eye out for it. Got the hit on him there. Very good stream for me, personally. I'm gonna avoid this locker as much as I can. He's gonna jump in one of these lockers. Yeah, you didn't jump in it fast enough, though. Or rather, you didn't have enough time when you jumped in it. Oh, she fell down. And I know where the last guy. Oh, no, that was hers. That was the Jake on my shoulder screaming. And I have enough time to hook both of them here. That's really good for me. Now they're both dead on hook. Oh no, he's not dead. And this guy can't unhook safely because he's injured. So if he comes for it, I might just end up getting all four of them. That was really, really good for me that she ran in and tried to flashlight save. By the way, if you miss a flashlight save the first time around, just give up. There, there, there's no point to try to continue to try. I'm gonna go ahead and vomit on her feet just to get her fully infected for the points. And here's my object. Do I have any more fountains? No, any in my near vicinity. He's, he has a sprint person 99. When I get really close to him, he's gonna speed away. See? <laughs> yeah! Get out of here! Get the fuck out of my game, Mr. Object of Obsession. Go fuck yourself. Fuck your perk, dude. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't think you understand how happy I am about that, guys. I just do what I always do, you know? I'm gonna I'm gonna ignore the object, I'm gonna ignore the cocky player if I can, because eventually they're gonna make a mistake, and I'm gonna come out on top, and it's gonna feel so fucking good. Oh my god, this game was amazing. I'm so happy as, uh, this game went the way it did, because holy shit, I almost two-pipped off of it. <laughs> I almost too pipped off this game. This was so much fun. Fuck. Object players are so difficult to play against, especially in a survival with friends. That he clearly was with the Meg. So, and it just makes for really satisfying games if you do end up winning them. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one.